back there, I guess. Alright you guys, while I'm waiting on tires, I'm going to do a couple small jobs today that don't require me driving into town. I think I probably got one more trip on these tires. Um, so the next trip I'm going to make is going to be getting new tires. So, just a few small jobs, we're going to drain the back tank. There's a bunch of 15 year old gas in there. Uh, a couple years ago, I added a couple fresh gallons to try and help things out, but yeah, it's been a couple years, so, it's, so I'm sure that's all nasty. We'll drain the tank, got a turn signal bulb to replace, and a bright light bulb to replace, which I I hate doing the dash bulbs, so that'll be fun. Not even. I'm pretty sure I have one of those little bulbs lying around. If not, I can uh, probably borrow it from something. up already. There we go. It's, it's like I'm pumping oil. It doesn't look that thick. How is so much air getting in there? Can't get it to siphon. Is that getting pinched? Oh, maybe that's why it's so hard to pump. Either that's grease or that's a seal that's melting. I'm gonna try and put some oil on that shaft. Maybe that'll help. Whoa! Careful now. You're attached to the fifth wheel right now and I leaned on it and almost threw you into the gas. Okay, finally picked me up one of these oilers. Put some 1040 in there. High mileage, since that was what uh, was handy. And who knows, maybe the high mileage will help a little bit with the lubrication. Either way, I got some oil. A little oil there. That is so, that is so nice to finally have a little 
squirter. Oh yeah, that made a huge difference. Probably won't stay on there though. Yeah, I think it's just, the varnish is just gonna clean that oil right off. Here's our first batch of bad gas. That should be the majority of it. The rest I can just drain out from the uh, drain plug from down below. All right, let's see how flammable this stuff still is. The varnish stuff doesn't actually seem flammable at all. Taken off. Do a little trash pickup around here. this thing out with some diesel that seems to help really well for re-lubricating re that and it's probably a good idea for storage
All right, there's the drain. Just need a wrench. Okay, that was stuck pretty good. That's a brass drain plug. Didn't think I was actually going to get it, but it, uh, it's going. Out. Let's get the pan over here. And of course it's clogged again. So we'll grab something to poke that with. Let's try not to lose that. Okay, let's get my sleeve pulled way back there. So I don't get soaked. Wish my clothes don't get soaked. All right, hopefully we got enough siphon or pumped out so I don't overfill that. Because all the buckets without holes are currently being used for coolant. You get me a big container or something and then figure out where to recycle this stuff at. I think you just take it to the recycling center, but I need some, some lids. Maybe there's another large empty container I could purchase at the store uh, for recycling purposes. It's hopefully not too expensive because obviously I won't be able to keep it. stuff's gonna be any more flammable than the first batch so it should be okay to dump that on there I think I hope that'd be kind of crazy running and grab the hose but she survived I like this drain pan yeah that stuff is a little more flammable than the first stuff I pulled out of there I hope to get things going All right, I put that drain plug in. Uh, I deal with that when I get to these tanks. I do want to replace the switching valves at some point because I think this is really cool. Having a big old backup tank. Okay, we got one of the turn signals lighting up, which indicates a burnt out bulb or two.
All right, I got an old bow bed of patches. I think it's a good one. Let's find out. I was gonna say, um, I was about to say that I have some dielectric grease around somewhere, but I don't know where it's at, so I'm just gonna put it in without it. But that's so greased up that uh, there we go. Keep the terminals from corroding, getting moisture on them, dust, gunk, whatever. It's uh never seen a bulb burn out and turn blue. That is weird. It's like a whole bunch of crusty stuff inside it too. Why is that so blue? That's weird. I've never seen that before. Usually they burn out and they get a little smoky. I do believe this is called a 1157 bulb. 1156 only has the one element. 1157 has the two elements for a blinker, for a high and low. There we go. Let's uh, clean some of the grease off that bulb there. That's better. And of course, we get one burned out on me while I'm working on it. Not lighting up with an indicator though. Definitely burnt out. That's that's what I'm used to seeing. On these burnout, a little dark, a little cloudy. Sometimes really crazy white stuff. I've never seen them turn blue though. That is interesting. Okay, I can't find any more used bulbs from patches, though I do have a huge stash of them somewhere. So I got a brand new pack of these 1157 bulbs. Long life. Sylvania. Take one out, use it here. And we'll throw the rest of this package in the uh, glove box for a spare. Uh, grab some grease. Looks a whole lot better.
Any others burning out? No, looking good. Awesome. Let's save that one. Cold out. Beautiful sunrise coming up today. Takes a lot of pumps to get him going. All right, we got brights. <clears throat> All right, we got brights. Um, and we have a bright light indicator. I thought those uh, were not working. All right, sweet. I don't have to take the ash apart. Easy fix. I am not smelling the sweet smell of antifreeze, but Jimmy seems to be losing coolant somehow. Or he just had a lot of air in the system. Or the uh, radiator, radiator cap was bad. I did switch his radiator cap with Rusty, since Rusty's look newer. head gasket. Oh my god. That is the most beautiful sunset or er, sunrise I've ever seen. I'm sure the camera isn't doing it justice, but there is so much detail in these clouds right there. It's freaking nuts. Looks like a painting. Wow. All right, that cap actually seems to have fixed the uh, issue with getting air in the top of this radiator. Sweet. I was really worried that I had to uh, place the head gasket. That would have sucked. And I desperately need to get to town, and I have no ride for about a week. And I am low on food, so that is a huge relief. 
I'll be sure to add that to my list to get a couple new caps. You should get a thermostat too. I have a feeling that might not be in there. You guys, uh, somebody commented, made a good point about that. Fingers crossed that the water pump holds out. There's a, probably a couple other things I should uh, uh, add to the list as well. Definitely need to do spark plugs, wires, cap and rotor. Yeah, it's got the MS, uh, MSD, MSG, I think it's MSD. Or what do we call this thing? Uh, Mallory ignition. So yeah, cap and rotor, spark plugs, wires, a couple of these, one for Rusty, one for Jimmy, thermostat, I need to do a transmission uh, fluid change and filter replacement at some point as well, I need to drain and replace all the brake fluid, what else? Bunch of stuff to go onto the list. But tires, those come first. That is kind of an emergency. I need to go straight to a tire shop. I'm looking at discount tires right now. They got a pretty good deal. Thank you, whoever commented that and shared that tidbit. Looks like a pretty good deal. Found tires for about, uh, uh, I think the total price was around $600. But it's going to save me a bit of money. Yeah, Les Schwab's kind of a, I don't know about their braces they, they used to be a pretty cool place to go my dad used to take me there and i got fond memories of popcorn and stinky tire smell stinky fresh rubbery smelling shop with all the different kinds of tires and tread so i, I went there first but yeah that's that's a little too expensive oh and the belt seems to have worn a groove it actually you can see a bunch of rubber sticking to bunch of rubber dust from that from this belt wearing in to the tighter groove there so it's all worn in now and kind of reshaped itself so I'll just go ahead and use it it's actually in still pretty good condition so yeah might as well I got the other one to replace it when the time comes I need to do these yeah I really need to do this one I wonder if this works Lots coming up, you guys. Stay tuned.